Hey guys, I'm Patrick. I'm the lead editor and producer at LumaForge. And today we're gonna to be talking about media asset management. So what is media asset management? I'm glad you asked. Media asset managers allow you to sort through your footage quickly and easily so that you can find the shots that you need when you need them. And now that may seem like a very simple thing, may seem like something that's not really worth throwing a lot of money at until you have a lot of footage and you have a lot of people on your team. And here at LumaForge, we actually started to run into that ourselves, right? We started expanding our video team and I had known where all of the various footage was because I you know, shot a lot of it and edited a lot of it, but as soon as we started adding other people, it became impractical for me to tell them exactly where each and every shot was that they might possibly need for the projects they were working on. So we actually started looking for a MAM for ourselves. And one of the big things that we found was that time and time again, most MAMs are really difficult to install and really difficult to get set up. In fact, most of the time you needed either an entire computer gone or you're using some of the capabilities of your Jellyfish now dedicated to just keeping a database of where all of your files are. What we found though was there is one piece of software that uses indexing as opposed to a database, which means that just very much like Spotlight on a Mac, you've got the ability to search things because there's this set of invisible files alongside your footage that have information about the footage itself. So all that you have to do with this piece of software is install it, activate it, and now you can start tagging, logging, and searching on any computer that happens to have this piece of software. What is this piece of software? Kino from Les Payne Software. We have become really big fans of Kino, not only because it makes the install and setup process extremely easy, but also because it makes tagging and searching through your footage extremely versatile as well. So if I know that I need to find some red footage that was shot at 2997, I can do that out of the box. I don't have to do any logging to be able to find that. What I really love about Kino is the fact that I can go in and tag things like shot, take, reel, that sort of stuff, but I can also add my own tags, kind of like finder tags. And as I add those tags, other users who are connected to the jellyfish can start to see those tags as they start entering tags on their end, and they can auto-complete so that we're all on the same page and we aren't duplicating keywords that are really essentially about the same thing. Beyond just using tags, you also have the ability to create subclips. You can set in and out points around a very specific topic, especially in talking heads, this is helpful or if you're working with a newsreel and you need to break things down into smaller pieces because you can't tell just by looking at the thumbnail what a piece of footage is. So for example, when I'm talking about subclips, we might start an endpoint at the beginning of this portion. And then whenever I stop talking about subclips, we set an out point and then we hit S to create a subclip to then designate the portion of the talking head where I am talking about subclips. And now, if we go into Kino later, we can search for subclips and I can find the subclip about subclips. Very meta, I know. The really super powerful thing about all of this is that as soon as I want to take this footage and bring it into Final Cut, or I want to bring it into Premiere, or I want to bring it into Resolve, I can do that and I'm able to pull that metadata along with my footage. So that means I can right click on a batch of clips say send to Final Cut Pro 10, and now my subclips come in as keyword ranges, my tags come as keyword ranges, and all that stuff like scene, shot, and take all shows up inside of Final Cut. The same thing happens with Premiere, except that I don't really get tags, but my subclips come in as ranged markers. The same thing happens whenever I bring footage over into Resolve. What about you? We really love Kino. Is there a media asset manager out there that you love? Why do you love it? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for some more LumaForge goodness. Thanks so much.